Components of chemical weapons were delivered to the Syrian province of Idlib from several European states. Director of the Department for Arms, Non-Proliferation and Control at the Russian Foreign Ministry, Vladimir Yermakov stated on September 25th. On September 20th, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zaharova stated that a threat of staged chemical attack in the province of Idlib still remains. The diplomat stated that Hayat al Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, was supplying its allied military groups with chemical agents with this purpose. These statements by the Russian side show that the situation in Idlib still remains complicated and chances of a new escalation are high if militants attempt to sabotage the demilitarization agreement reached earlier this month. Meanwhile, the Russian language media speculates that Russia will provide Syria with a batch of short to medium range air defense systems, additionally to the already announced supply of S-300. These reports remain unconfirmed. Jordan and Syria may open an Asib border crossing in the first half of October, according to their Jordanian newspaper Al Ghad. On September 25th, Syrian Prime Minister Imad Kamiz announced that the Syrian side of the crossing had been restored. If true, this development will mark another stage in the restoration of the southern Syria after its liberation by government forces earlier this year. This will also allow more Syrian refugees to return to their homes from Jordan. U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis has ordered the military to pull out four Patriot air defense systems from Jordan, Kuwait, and Bahrain in the Middle East, the Wall Street Journal reported on September 26, citing several senior military officials. According to speculation sparked by this report, the decision is aimed at boosting the U.S. effort to counter more global threats such as China and Russia as Washington shifts its global strategy. Nonetheless, a conflict with Iran and support to Israel are important points of the foreign policy of the current U.S. administration. U.S. President Donald Trump has repeatedly stated this officially. Furthermore, his administration has made a number of steps in this direction. In light of the recent developments over Syria, including the IL-20 incident and a Russian decision to supply S-300 system to the Syrian military, it is highly unlikely that the U.S. will decrease its military, diplomatic, and economic involvement in the Middle East issues anytime soon.